Alrighty, we want to start out by opening up our UiPath Studio. Now, we want to click Process to start a blank project. Give our project a name. I'm going to call mine Quiz Bot. And give our project a description, which I highly recommend. For location, I would want to use the default UiPath location. For compatibility, I'm going to be using Windows because that is the most recent compatibility mode. For programming language here, I'm going to be using VB. You're more than welcome to switch to C Sharp if you're conversant with C Sharp. But I love VB and I'm okay with VB.net. I hit create. Now the studio loads up properly with no errors. The very first thing I want to do is create folders within my project. So I'm going to go to the project window and these are the components of my project. I want to add, right click on the empty space here and add a folder data. Go back to the project window and you should see data folder. Do the same again, right click and add another folder. I want to call this folder project. Go back again to project, add another folder. I want to call this folder shared. Go back to project and inside of the data folder, I want to have a subfolder. So click on the data folder and right click on the data folder and add a folder and call that folder sound. Now this folder is going to hold all my sound files. You can see that we have sound inside of data folder. I want you to right click on data folder again and add another folder. And we're going to call this folder forms. Now we have forms and sounds as subfolders within the data folder. The next thing I want to do is download my dependencies. In this project, we are making use of two dependencies, the uipath.form.activities and the uipath.webapi.activities. Let's go download these dependencies into our project. Back again into my project. Make sure you are on design, click design and go to manage packages or packages. And you want to look for uipath.form.activities. Get this installed. Make sure you're using the most recent stable version. Never go for anything with a preview. So this is the most recent stable version and install. I'm going to look for the second dependency, uipath.webapi activities, the most recent version and install. Now you have to click save. So everything gets downloaded and installed into your project. Now, just to confirm within our UiPath project, we have a data folder that has two subfolders, project folder, a shared folder, and we have the right dependencies, uipath.webapi.activities and uipath.form.activities. To keep the video short, I would stop here and see you guys in the next video where we proceed to other things.